What's good is this crew? <laughs> welcome back to another video. Uh, welcome back to the sports channel. Like I said, if you love sports, subscribe. If you love everything about sports, subscribe. And if you love comedy, you definitely need to subscribe. Alright? This channel is now sports and comedy channel. Like I told you, other idea wasn't working out, so stuff happens. You gotta switch up your stuff to play the game, you know what I mean? You gotta switch up your stuff to make it. So, I love sports, like I said on my last video, and I love making people laugh. So, welcome to my sports channel. And this is gonna be another sports video, but it's gonna be a story time. This is gonna be the time I experienced not making the varsity team. I'm gonna give you my perspective of it. And I'm gonna show you, and I'm gonna um, explain to y'all how I felt after it. Because, you know, if you haven't been in any sports, or if you have been in any sports in high school, you'll understand. You know, you young, you're trying to make the varsity team. Back then, you know, during my era, now they, they took away JV. Some schools, it's just regular varsity. But when I was growing up, going into high school, 2011, it was JV and varsity. There was no just varsity. So the people who who experienced this, y'all going to feel what I'm talking about. But anyway, that was in the summer of 2012. This is going into my sophomore year. Oh, oh y'all like the bandana? It's a new look. I'm not. It's like a new sports look that I got going on. I see everybody wearing it, so yeah. But anyway. Anyway. Um, so this is like the summer 2012. You know, I was all about football. I still want to play, but then again, you know, I just don't want to go through all that failure again. Not making a team, but during my senior year of high school, we lost all our football games, and that's just, that was just disappointing. I never give up on anything. I never quitter, but that's just brought me down to why still try out for football if it's going to be like this. But I'm going to get back into it. But anyway, like I said, summer of 2012, um, going to Harpwoods High School, if y'all don't, if you don't live in Michigan, you wanna know what Harper was at. Harper was is on the east side of downtown Detroit. It's, it's like 20 minutes away from here. It's a nice neighborhood. It's not like how people expect Detroit to be like. It's a Detroit suburban school, but it's in the little city of Harper Woods. Harper Woods is by itself. So, anyway, yeah, and we had this coach. I ain't gonna give him his real name, but Coach BB. So anyway, Coach BB, I was trying out for him. He was the coach at the time, and you know it was the football. What you call it? The football. Hey, if you wanna play football for us, come meet us in the auditorium. It's gonna be a football meeting. Yada yada yada. So you know this. So you know we went there, and he gave us all these packets of what to do you know teach teachers he gave us you know our schedule and everything and then after the meeting we went to the film room so to let you know by us being in the film i just automatically thought it was varsity because he didn't say okay jv gonna be over here he said all football meeting so i wasn't thinking like hey I'm finna be on JV. I'm finally finna be on varsity. I'm finally finna be in those cold uniforms, you know what I mean? Because they were some nice uniforms. Maroon and white, they go together. So it was some nice uniforms. So I'm like, you finally finna be in those cold uniforms, you know, I'm finally finna wear them. People finally finna come to my games and things like that, yada, 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 yada. Now, Coach BB did not say, did not even brought bring to anybody attention nobody was thinking about this that it's gonna be you know varsity jv he just made us all think it was all varsity so he was giving us you know calling us out you play running back see 
running this film on varsity. See, this is what you gonna have to be doing. And this is what you gonna have to be doing. Putting it at me, see, if you're a defensive lineman, this is you gonna have to be going call my name, other people's names. So I'm like, cool, cool, cool. You know? So that was that day. Then the next couple of days, couple of weeks, couple of months, you know, we got into the groove. We got into the weight room. You know, we got into this. You know, everybody was working their tails off, especially me, because I want to prove to them that I can play varsity. But anyway, so it got to that point. You know, I was playing varsity. You know, I, no, I wasn't playing varsity, but I was coming to every practice. But it was some practices that I had to miss out on because I was busy during school. If you don't know, I was in lots of programs. I was in band. I was in summer programs. So the first time I had to leave for Oakland University, you know what I mean? And I, in my mind, I kind of felt like this would stop me from being on varsity because I was so busy. But at the same time, it was other people trying out for football too that was in the same things as I was. So that couldn't be it. You know what I mean? But I just still think that was probably it. But I don't regret those programs I was in. You know what I mean? But anyway. Yeah, so I went to Oakland University, you know. Get to know the campus two weeks. Two weeks later, I came back. So, you know, we getting, we getting our helmets. We getting the jerseys. And we were supposed to now come to, like film room and stuff still with our helmets on right so we did we brought our cleats and everything we did all this you know and it was just like okay I'm definitely for the be on varsity now because he's not he's not breaking us off into groups like young guys go with the JV coach and varsity guys you stay with me it wasn't broke off like that if it was he didn't tell me to leave not that I think about it he probably did say JV guys go with them, but he didn't tell me to leave. So I'm like, I'm cool. He ain't tell me to leave at all. You know what I mean? So I'm just like, cool, cool, cool. You know, I'm safe. You know? But, you know, I still had to compete with the other guys. But anyway. Yeah, so it was that. Then, I had to leave again. I had band practice so you know that probably again messed it up he probably thought oh how can you do band and football at the same time but I did my junior and senior year so it wasn't that hard you know what I mean so where was I at oh yeah so you're just sitting in the weight room this is that not the weight room but the computer room because we doing film and things like that and he giving us all types of assignments and everything in some of those weeks, I brought my little cousin with me. We got our YouTube channel, don't forget. Our YouTube channel is Young Kings Gaming. It's going to be lit this summer. But anyway, Young Kings Gaming. But anyway, I brought him along, and he was like in middle school at the time. But he was dang near the same size as all of us. And he was like, hey, is this, is this guy going to be? I was like, no, nah, he's not even in high school yet. He He's still in middle school and stuff like that, blah, blah, blah. So, you can ask him for yourself. He was coming with me to the practices. We was running plays. He was putting me on the starting lineup with the rest of the seniors and juniors. So, I was like, okay, I got it in the bag and things like this. You know, we were, we was doing all things. I was running with the varsity, running on the starting line. So, you know, I thought I had it in the bag. And then, you know, I left for band camp. Came back a week later. So determined, I came back where they was practicing in the rain. I had a hoodie on. I didn't have no pads on. He said, I'll get you the pass tomorrow. I said, cool. You know, I still came, though. You know, they ain't going to stop me from coming nowhere. I walked up there by myself when it was about to rain, and I showed up. So, you know, if you're trying to make varsity, quick advice, if you're trying to make varsity, show up. Show up. Just show up. It don't matter if you booty or people call you trash. Show up. Because being on time shows them that you are serious. So I showed up. 
You know, everybody was practicing, but I still showed up. It wasn't like I just laid off, I just got back from camp. No, the next day, I went to football practice and things like this. And then, finally, I got my pad, so he was practicing, practicing, practicing. Then we had scrimmages with each other. We was bodied up in different teams. And I didn't think much of it because it was like, okay, I'm on the team with other varsity players. Even though we scrimmaging against each other, I'm still going hard. You know what I mean? I'm coming every day. I'm sure my heart. And then came this one dreadful week. It was game week. So game week, you know, I ain't think nothing of it. He was like, okay, the starting players. I knew I wasn't going to be a starter anyway, like. I'm a sophomore, even though it was other sophomores starting, I was a sophomore, so I knew he wasn't going to call me up there, but I was like, still. And then at the practice, he was like, okay, come and get your jerseys, let me show you your jerseys, and so I'm like, cool, 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 but I'm putting everything in my locker, but this one boy was like, hey, Coach BB, giving out numbers, you better hurry up, you know, hurry up and get those numbers, so I'm like, bet, I went in there. And I was like, hey, do you got a number 66? Because that was my number back in middle school. So I'm like, you got a number 66? He was like, no, nah, this is varsity numbers. 66 is not available. That's only for JV. I'm like, oh, shit, never mind. Then do you have like a 50 something something? I was keeping on. I wasn't hearing about what he was saying. Then I finally heard him. He talking about, did you hear me? This is for varsity players only. I'm like, okay. I know, you know, I'm a varsity player. I came to every varsity practice. I never missed a day except for those days that I told you I had to be gone. I never missed a day, so I know. So I was like, I know. You got 50 this? He was like, he was like, look, 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 look. Listen here, you're not on varsity, you know? So I can't give you a number. I'm like, what? How am I how, how am I not on varsity if I came to every practice? I put in the work. I didn't slack off like I did when I was ninth grade because I was now more in shape. I was still a little bit chubby, but I was still more in shape. I was still more dedicated. I was going to show y'all I can do it or whatnot. And he just like, I'm sorry. You didn't make, you didn't, you didn't make the cut. And, you know... That experience, that kind of like brought me down a little bit that I didn't want to even play football no more for the rest of the year because it's like, if I didn't make varsity, then what's the sense of doing this? Like, I only came for varsity. I didn't come for football, this, this, that. I didn't come for that. I came for varsity only. And it was degrading because it was some seniors owner that was slacking off as well, so... You know, the seniors, of course, they're going to make JV. I mean, not JV. Some juniors and seniors going to make varsity because, you know, either they was on varsity last year or because they seniors. You know what I mean? So, of course, they're going to make varsity again. They were just slacking off during practice every day. Every day. Some. Some were going hard, but most of them, who was like the stars of the team, were slacking off, arguing back with coach. Some of the coaches didn't like them, and they still was on varsity. So I'm like, okay, this is some BS. It was only one junior who didn't make varsity with us, and that's because the coach really didn't like him. So he didn't make varsity because the coach didn't like him, so that was some BS as well. So I was like, wow, that's kind of stupid. You know what I mean? That's dumb. But anyway, my experience about that was, it was degrading, like, you can even ask some of the seniors back then, it was like, hey, what number you got? You know, you for the play? I'm like, I'm not even on varsity, bro. I'm not on varsity. And it was, and it was bad because on the chalkboard, he had my name up there from when I was going to rotate in and do this. But I'm not on varsity. So that was just a huge waste of time. For me, I felt like I got all this free workout and it didn't pay off for nothing. 
And there was some guys that worked harder harder than me, that was smarter than me, going hard at all the seniors and juniors, even though they was getting put on their butt. They showed their butts off. And, it, and Coach BB still put them JV. So I'm just like, okay, whatever. He showed favoritisms to the people that was on varsity. And he was really riding this one guy. I ain't going to say his name, but he was really riding this one guy. Same grade, same grade as me, just because he was a little bit bigger, you know, he was riding him, but it's whatever. And yeah, in that whole year, we only played six games of JV, which was a waste of time because it's like, no, four games, which was a waste of time because four games, I at least came here for six or nine. And then Coach BB was lying his tail off talking about, oh, if y'all come, I could probably put y'all on the, um, I could probably just y'all up, you know, if y'all keep coming to practice. So we kept coming to practice, even though it was a waste of time, we kept coming to practice just to get a jersey and some pants to dress up, and he didn't, and that didn't happen. So he just came to practice for free. He ain't put us in the line at all. And... That was just stupid. So why would you tell us you going to dress us up and you didn't? What was the sense? That was dumb. That was idiotic. You shouldn't even said that. If that was the case, I would have just, I would have just put, I would have just gave all my pads and helmet and shoulder pads back because that was just a waste of my time. Like, and I told my mama, he was like, what? What was the sense of going then? I was like, I don't know. I thought I made it. Like, I don't know. I have no idea. And I was just upset. Like, come on, man. Like, you see how big I am? But if it was the other coach, if it was the other coach, then I for sure would have been on varsity because he liked me. He even, When I even came into ninth grade, he was like, this is a freshman. Y'all know that, right? And everybody was looking like, what? A freshman? So I definitely would have been on varsity that next year, but it's whatever. You know, I'm not jocking it. That probably would have been my key to D1. But, you know, if it's any of y'all out there that was in my shoes or don't want to be in my shoes, just go hard at practice, bro. Be more enthusiastic than me. That's all I got to say. Because thinking about it right now just still gets my, gets to me like, how didn't I make it? How? Literally every sophomore that tried out made varsity except for me and this other guy. And this other guy, but he was in the alternative program, so he couldn't do it. But still, I could have, we could have helped y'all. So yeah, it's whatever. If y'all been through that situation, share this video. You know, because I know there's a lot of guys out there, a lot of females out there who've been through that same situation. Thought they had was on varsity, and then they turned down to be on JV. If y'all love sports, click this video. If y'all love sports, subscribe to this video. Comment. Get me up to 100K. <laughs> For real, though, 100K. I'm only at 18, but y'all can get me up to 100K. Come on, y'all. Give me a part of this YouTube community. Let's do this. Can y'all give me up to 100K? I believe in y'all. Let's do this jump. 100K it is. Subscribe to my gaming channel, Young Kings Game.